Welcome back, friends. So today we're going to play with twine again. We're going to take that same twine that I did in another video, and we're going to pull it apart further. Like we're just going to really try to get down to those fine, fine fibers. It's a little challenging, but you can get each piece. It's amazing how many fine fibers go into just one piece of twine, even the thin twine. So I need to make sure that I have enough of this to cover this 8x10 plate, because then we, we're just not going to get the effect that we want. So um, and as long as it's still looking a little bit wavy and curly like that, I still want to pull further. So, And I might leave a few pieces like that one with the knot. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> No, I really want to get those really, really fine fibers. All right, let's 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 see what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to start with a, I think this is Payne's Gray. Yeah, pretty sure. Payne's Gray is a nice dark color. So we're really going to go for the ghost here, but we're going to pull a deli sheet after we lay these down we'll probably get like a beautiful transparent deli sheet I'm being very random about this I'm not overthinking it and I'm gonna pick this up with the deli paper and really kind of press into the plate so that we get a good impression because we want that ghost But I have to say, I can already tell I'm going to love this deli paper. Now this is a messy process because these fibers stick to the plate. And they also stick to your brayer, and they stick within the paint. It's, it's a mess. And I, and I don't suggest you reuse these. I don't know if we can or not, but I might try. But um, it's really hard to get all of the tiny fibers off. And it's okay to leave some on because that's going to add to the effect. You'll see in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to now pick up the ghost with this blue. It's kind of like a blue-gray in a bottle that I have. And I'm mixing a tiny little bit of Titan Buff. And I made that blue-gray with Payne's Gray and Titanium White. So as you can see, I still had a lot of, lot of fibers still on the plate. But that's going to add to the print. So um, plate's going to have to be cleaned afterwards. Nothing you could do about that. This is a messy process. Okay, so this is rice paper I'm picking up with. I don't have to wait too long for this, maybe maybe a minute and a half. So look at this brayer. Look at all of those fine fibers on there. I'm probably going to have to soak that a little bit in Murphy's Oil Soap. It'll come off easier. I'm going to do another print so I don't want to like you know, wipe it off now. But see how we got where the fibers were on the plate, we have white. So that adds to the marbling effect. A little bit of white is showing through, plus we have the fiber, you know, the actual panes, dark panes gray. So I think it's really pretty. You do have to wipe off any, any um, fibers that stuck within the paper and the paint. So get those off there and it looks pretty good. I especially, like some areas are really perfect for collage. Plus, let's take a look at this deli paper. Like, look at that. That is fantastic. Very, very detailed. And we still have some stuff on the plate. So I'm going to try to pick that up with some quinacridone red. 
just because it's there. But because of all those fibers on the briar, it's kind of briaring in a really textured pattern. So I don't think I'm going to get a very good print. And it's as, and you can already see that it's lacing way too much because the fibers were not letting the paint really stick to the plate very well. So you really should try to, to clean your brayer right away in between prints because having the um, fibers on the brayer makes nice uh, roll-off sheets. Like I love how it rolled off onto the sheet. It looks great over there on the right. And I did save a couple of these as I was doing this today because they I'm going to scan them and do something in Photoshop with them. Okay, so we're going to just pick that up. Yeah, and as I thought, um, it helped me clean up the plate a little bit, but it's a lousy print. It, it might be useful for something. I'll still save it, but that was not necessarily a good, a good print. Okay, so I decided I'm going to do another one with a fresh batch of twine. And I'm going to use, start with Indian yellow. I'm going to make a more subtle paper. Now I still have, you know, the twine on my um, brayer. Look at that bright, look at that roll off sheet. Oh my God. So <clears throat> definitely when you, when the twine gets around the brayer, it makes nice patterns. But I think on this, on this Indian yellow one, I'm not going to mind so much because it's going to be subtle. And I'm also going to get a nice deli paper. I don't use the light deli papers as much. I really like the dark colors like the Payne's gray and the black. That's what I mostly, I mostly use it to add a lot of contrast to a collage. Okay, so I'm cleaning up all the fibers as much as I can. And we still have a little bit of the quinacridone red in there too, so it's not going to be completely um, Indian yellow. But, and I'm going to pick up with um, Titan Buff. So also because the Titan Buff is very light and the paper we're picking up with is white, um, these little crackles that we're seeing are, are going to be okay. Um, but I should have cleaned the brayer. If I was going to use darker colors, I definitely would have had to because all of those little fine fibers on the brayer would have shown. And that paper I'm definitely saving. Okay, these are fluid paints, so I'm picking up pretty fast. And as you can see, we've got some really nice marbling here. And again, I have to pick up the fibers that stick within the paint and the paper. And we did pick up some of that red. So this is a really nice, maybe background to get started with uh, a collage, just to see little bits of this through other papers. It has a lot of crackle on this one. I think it's very interesting. And of course, my brayer is an absolute mess. 
So it will be soaked overnight in some Murphy's Oil soap. We do have some more paint here, but I think I'm just going to clean it up because I need to get all of those fibers off. And we have this nice deli paper, as you can see. Love the deli papers. And of course this deli paper. That one will definitely get used. And I love this print. The red one, not so much. But this one came out perfect and so did the yellow, the Indian yellow one. So keep in mind when you're making your collage papers that you're going to need all kinds of um, collage papers, not just stencils or texture plates, but sometimes more organic things like this. This is like a, a perfect example. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to create, inspire and share and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.